See, this is really good weather right now, actually. Coming up there. Yeah, it's it's cloud cover. It feels good because it's it's rather it's rather humid out here. Well, today. I, I I describe it to my clients as simply as I can. I just tell them that you just picture that smallmouth bass don't have eyelids, so they don't have any way of knocking that light out of their out of their eyes. So on real sunny days, they'll tend to be more prone to hold tighter to cover or, or in current where there's a chop on the water or breaking up the tension. Yep. Whereas on a cloudy day, they'll tend to look up through the water column more. That fish hit it the second it hit the water too. He is a little bit better. He's 11 inches. <laughs> He's 11 inches. <laughs> they get in that fast water though. That's a strong fish right there. That is a really strong little bass. <laughs> That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Maybe this he hit it right on the fall. Did it? Yeah. Yeah. Chunky fish. Yep. Typical summer smallmouth. And now for a closer look at today's tackle, Delaware Valley Outdoors presents the Tackle Box. For more information about the tackle used on today's show, go to DelawareValleyOutdoors.com. We're at the uh, tackle box section of the show, yep. and uh, baits that we had today were, were I'm going to say, one-dimensional. We needed soft plastics, but yeah. we did start out with a couple other tubes and or other baits. And want to just talk about this one here. What do we have here? That's a Lucky Craft G Splash. It's a, a popping bait, basically. Any any kind of a of a surface lure, top water lure. When the, when the light's low this time of year in clear water, we didn't have anything come up on it today, but it's always worth a shot. And uh, the colors, it, it almost looks like a herring, doesn't it? That's, that's chartreuse shad is the name. Oh. Anything that'll imitate the shad fry. Um, white is a real good color too, a white top water lure. And as the light gets up, you want to throw a top water lure that has a little bit more of a translucent type of see-through. It creates a better silhouette on top oh, of the water. For the fish. All right, now this bait, Called a strike bait or a slash bait? Slash bait, yeah. Like, what is this? That's a TD minnow. That's a uh, that it, Rapala makes the X wrap. Um, no, there's a few of them mm -hmm. out there. There's a few real good slash baits. I work them very aggressively. I mean, boom, 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 slash, and then pause. It will suspend. It's a suspending jerk bait. It will pause, but it it's a great locator bait. You know, if I'm going down a, a moderate depth pool and I'm not sure the fish are there in the morning I'll throw that thing and I'll get it working and I've had four five six fish just come up on it and look at it and I know they're there so just find they don't that. always eat it but uh, we had a couple fish on it today okay now we go to <laughs> you're one of your favorite standby the old standby what's what we have here four seasons mismo tube that's that's the three and a half inch version they make a four inch they make a two and three quarter inch or several different sizes um, I'll, we didn't we didn't do anything with those today, but I'll throw those a lot of times on high sunny days in the summertime if we're going deeper uh -huh. and we're going to drag a, you know a tube on a boulder to try and see if we can get a bigger fish. Um, and as the water cools in September, late summer, we really start to catch them on tubes. Or if the water's high, if we get a if you get a, a push of uh, dirtier water, mm -hmm. they'll leave a tube real well. Yeah, <laughs> now we get into our soft plastics here and. <laughs> What do we have here? That's a four inch yum dinger. Um, case magic sticks, Mismo quiver sticks, or other copies. Um, Sanko was the first one to come out years ago and just about everybody who wants to stay in business has <laughs> to come out with a, with a copy. Um, all of them work real well. Uh, you know, you can throw them either wacky style or Texas rigged or today we threw them on a jig head. And color wise? Color-wise, anything that'll imitate a shad, or I like green pumpkin or, or watermelon. They, they just, small, when you think smallmouth, you think green pumpkin, watermelon is the best colors. Ah, uh, another soft plastic bait. The Case Salty Shad, that is my go-to bait. Probably 70%, especially last year. This year we're getting a few more on other baits, but uh -huh. at least 70% of my fish from June through September last year came on that bait. 
It's, it accounts for numbers and size, and you can throw five inch. He makes a five inch and a three and a half inch. That's the three and a half inch model. You like that smaller profile? I like that one this time of year because the shad fry are small. Now as the fall, you know, we go into the autumn uh -huh. period, we throw the bigger, the five incher. All right, now we're gonna go to the bait that we caught a lot of fish on today. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna bait. show you two of them here. This one is the before, mm. and this one's the after, and if you can yeah. see how it's tore up pretty much, tell us what we have here. Well, that's that's a three-inch yum dinger. I, I wish, I wish Case made a three-inch magic stick, but they don't. So <laughs> I have to use a three-inch yum dinger. That bait, um, it's a finesse bait, basically what it is. When you have to go down below them, and we put it on a little eighth-ounce jig head, and uh, it, it's a numbers bait, basically. It's a it's a guide's dream, really. Yeah. You know, I go out there. I won't throw them a lot. But when I have clients on my boat, and, and when we want to account for numbers of fish this time of year, you can throw that thing. And we caught fish from, what, three or four inches long right up right. to 15 inches right, right today. Right, and you know. what it is, uh, the whole thing too, these are really soft. So when yeah. you get numbers of fish, you go through numbers. They tear them up. Of these. They tear them up, yeah. yeah. No. Um, what I think, we're, we're using light tackle. Boy, that was a lot of fun today. Yeah. Now, line, line wise, what do you like for, for your line? Well, I, I use Gamma. Gamma's a new company. Um, I throw the copolymer. It's, I used to be a McCoy guy, but I, I ran into the Gamma people and I tried their line and, and it, it performs real good. It's similar to monofilament. It has a lot of the same properties as monofilament, but it, is, uh, it, it has less stretch, less memory, and it's a lot more abrasion resistant. I'm not a, a braid fan, especially for this time of the year, because when I'm throwing those salty shads, braid doesn't sink. Sink, yeah. You can feel everything on braid. Braid's a great option, but in, in my, you know, my experience, I can't get braid to sink like that. I'll, I'll throw fluorocarbon, gamma fluorocarbon, in the winter when the water gets really low and, and clear. I like to go to the fluorocarbon. And six pound test. Eight. eight. Yeah, I throw eight. I'll throw ten or twelve on my bait casters, but I'm almost exclusively eight anymore. I just just lose too many too many baits on six. It seems like. And that's the tackle box. Right in that trough there. Yeah. Right where I figured he might be. Now I had a good hit in there too, so he crushed it. He's gonna to toy with me here now too, because I'm in this fast water. Get out of there. You're not that big, dude. Come on. Good fish. Oh, yeah, fish head. Hey, Blaine, I want to thank you for inviting me up here, okay? You're welcome. It was a pleasure. Look at that fish right there. That's a fine summer fish right there. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a fine summer fish. Came right off that trail. Hey, I'm Bob Murray. This is Delaware Valley Outdoors. Go to our website, Delaware Valley Outdoors, for information. Blaine writes up reports. Go to his site. Tells you all about fishing on Delaware, Susquehanna. I'll see you on the water. Hard, these darn fish. All right, come on, come on. Oh. What we did, we moved down <laughs> to some faster water. The calm water wasn't really holding the fish. Come on here now, stop. We moved down and since we saw, yeah, there was carbon copies. <laughs> but, uh, but mine's Same bigger. year. <laughs>